Good day to you. What do you need? Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Here, and uh, something for your trouble. Well now. Good day to you. Master Bailiff, is there anything of interest going on here? Nothing of interest to me. You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. I'm sure it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? A little. We need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry... begging your pardon... shit. Or as the Pope would say, excrement. Is there anyone who can tell me? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. How come that's a... For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? Oh, they're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. Can you tell me anything more about the cook? 
You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course, where else would they get it? Gallows Hill? It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. What can you tell me about the other... Um, carriers? It's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are overflowing. Sounds disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carriers. That might convince someone. That's all I need to know. Good luck. Good luck to you. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook, but I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. Young? Nimble? What for? I want her to impress people with her food, not her face. I understand. Sorry. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own servants. It will benefit my people as well. Of course, of course. It goes without saying. I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. It's not dignified to talk of such menace. That's not a concern for 
decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. Good luck to you. Good luck then. Good day to you. Do you know if there's anyone around here who could use my help? Hmm. Good luck to you. Good day to you. What are you? I'm looking for people to carry water. Are you interested? But I already have a job. I help out with the hook. I suppose so. I just thought maybe you could do with the coin. Well, thank you for caring. But you ought to ask someone more needy. Good luck to you. Jesus Christ be praised. I'd like to ask about our former neighbours. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. But the bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? But what of it? It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. But having a job could save someone's life. Water carrying, maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit. You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. When we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. So, do you know who's my... Everyone's in need of coin, but not a... Who should I talk to then? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house, so they'll all be in one place. It'll take me a while, though. Thanks. Watch over you. Very well. Yeah. I'm truly grateful. I did not have that. Congratulations. Thank you.
departed through the mercy of God. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. Or I did, before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why do you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. So it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. Don't pay any attention. They're just rumors. I'm still his housekeeper. Where's Father Francis now? I don't know. The last time I saw him, he was going to confession in Sassau. But that was before all these terrible things happened. I've heard no word of him since then. Does he go to Sassau often? Where does he stay when he's there? Not so often. About once a month. He always used to stay in the inn near the monastery, so he wouldn't have far to go. I'll ask around about what happened to Father Francis. I'll let you know. Take care. My respects to you. Take care now. Can we do something about the price? Aye. Are we agreed? It'll take more than... You're flaying me here. I'd almost shake up. That's a sum I can live with. Can we do something about the price? Aye. Since it's you... I'd almost shake on that. Almost. For that amount, I can be persuaded. I wouldn't.
Good health to you. I have some, uh, let's see, bastards deserve it. Any chance of some work? It all depends on what, I'm sure you've noticed, the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. Take a good sharp dagger. We get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways. Barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. Take care now. I'd like to train them. Just... Right. What weapon would you like to try? I'll try the axe. It's heavy and I haven't quite got the height. Just on its own. Right, lad. I'll deal with you. Piche. What's the matter, lost your balls? Ah! Uh. 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 
Good move. you and your family happy. Onions that'll make you cry and garlic that'll keep evil spirits at bay. Good health to you. You hear about the water, Carrion? Aye. I can hold water all day long. So, do you want the job? There's plenty of other folk that will take it if you don't. I do. I want it. What do I have to do? So tell me, what was your trade before? I was a miner, then a farm laborer, then I was a servant, then I fled from Scullets and ended up here. Quite the fat totem, aren't you? Was none of those jobs good enough for you? Uh. I liked them all, but they were always sending me to do something else. Pickman, they'd say. Leave this and go and do that. Pickman? That's your name? Uh, actually, my real name's Vassi, but they call me Pickman. Is that German? No. It's from when I was in the mines, digging with a pick. So tell me. I was a... Right. 
So you're keen on carrying water? I've been keen on it since I got... And you had another job before this morning? <laughs> no, no. Besides water, you could carry water. You could empty latrines. What? Carry shit? That'd be a new one for me. No, it's not a thing I'd go around boasting about. How are you holding up? What can I tell you? I've seen better days for sure. What happened with the baby? He couldn't get a word. That peacock, what was strutting up and down and shouting at everyone? He told me he'd no time to listen to a buffoon like me. So I shut my mouth. Well, I could put in a good word for you. Fair enough. No, you don't. It's just a saying. Like, I do something for you, and you do something for me. Ah, right. I see. Well, as it happens, I've got something great for you. Treasure you wouldn't dream of. Treasure? Right, got my attention. I see you're a smart man. A man who knows a thing or two about the world. I've got... Wait for it. I've got a piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Never heard of her. Who's she? She was a great queen in ancient times. She gave Solomon a sword. A sword with magical powers. Magical, eh? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. No. It's true. It's in the Bible. And this sword... Once it's put back together, nothing can stop it. It can cut through bones, teeth, even steel and stone. I see. But you've only got one piece. What's that good for? Uh, I couldn't get it all. The fellow I bought it off didn't have the rest. He sold off bits and pieces. They've got powers of heal, you see? And, and put strength in your, you know, manhood. What do you say? Deal? We'll shake on it. I'll get you the job, and you'll give me the piece of the Queen of Sheba's sword. Agreed. Good luck to you. Jesus Christ be praised. You're here about the war. How? Oh. Hold your voices. We haven't decided yet who gets the job. What for? I can handle the job. Quit asking. What trade did you... I worked in the mines, at the wing. You've heard of Tonda the Witch, right? Strong as a bull. Ah, the name sounds familiar. You were one of the new miners, weren't you? I was. I came last autumn. The winter was mild enough to work the mines, and I showed everyone I was a hard worker. So do I get the job? Uh, we're not finished yet. Hey, am I in Are you here because... What? Well, I'd rather be back at the winch. Turning it so fast, I'd make everyone's head spin. But now I want to carry water, at least. Since there's some money in it. Well, uh... Not a chance. I'm not carrying any shit around. And if anyone tries to make me, I'll break his legs. And what if I told you that you get double the pay? Didn't I mention something about breaking going? legs? Y you, you did, but more money. I wouldn't be Tonda the Winch anymore. More like Tonda the Stench. Hey, am I invisible or what? And how are you? Not very well, I'll tell you that. I help out with something every once in a while and get some money for it. But it's not enough. Especially when the dice don't fall in my favor. Sure. What for? They'll get the mines running again, and I'll have a real man's job. And what about soldiering? It is, and I'd be good at it. When I land a punch, you'd think you were kicked by a horse, which I once showed to a soldier I fell out with over a game. Only, on mm, no doubt. I heard you lot... I don't know, Mike. He didn't even really ask me anything. I know everything. 
So, can I... Not yet. Well, I hope he cheeses me. I'll bear that in mind. May the Lord watch over you. Good health to you. You're one of the people... Well, Alex told me that I'm supposed to ask about a job carrying water. That's right. But... Peter. But everyone calls me rock. There was more than enough Peters in the mines. And not just in the mines. So... At the mine? That's right. I worked in the east... Now that I think... Have you heard anything from that old ship? When will they open the mines again? I don't know and don't care. I'm not here because... I suppose not. How badly? Well, right now there doesn't seem to be much work around for miners. And at least I can earn a few groceries. Not... Do you think it was easier in the mines? Digging through rock in your knees? There's one... What? For the knacker? It's a job. But what would people say? I need money badly, but I couldn't go back to mining after that. But it would be twice the... The money would help, true enough. What about afterwards? I don't want to be carrying shit all the time. I won't come to that. Sir so Radzik will surely take care of things when he returns home. He won't... For I'm glad to hear that. If that's how it is... I'll even carry shit. How are you holding? You mean this here? What happened to it anyway? That time in Scallon. I was knocked down by a horse. But it's better now. Look, I can see by the way your arm is hanging, it's not here. Well, oh, come on. I owe money to the Sawbones and I need the work to pay for it. I'll give you anything you want. Well, anything. You'll have to wait. I don't have anything now that can help you. What would you give? Good word. Sure. If I put in a good word for it. But I haven't got a pot to piss in. I lost... Oh? I, I heard about it at the mine. So, what did you hear? They found something they wanted kept a secret. There weren't any rumours about a silver scene. But what else could it be? The punishment for stealing the king's silver is hanging or burning at the stake. I know, but you can't be burned for stealing silver nobody knows about. That's enough for now. God be with you. God be with you. You're interested in carrying... I am. Which I agree. What? But I want the work and I deserve it. What makes... I was the owner of a mine. Well, a mine at least. The chief, eh? There's no kid in a mine. Just a shaft with a winch. It's hard work. So, he's taking care... It's not quite the same thing, is it? I wasn't born a mine owner, you know. I've done my share of boring. There's all... Are you trying to insult me? True. Double, hey? Oh, that's not bad, not bad, but, uh, for a man of my stature, no doubt there are more needy souls. Hmm. For the bailey. I refuse to talk to him. Oh, well. What would you give? So that's how it is, is it? I'm honest. Come now. I just want to help, but I'll have my job cut out persuading the bailiff to take... All right. I don't have anything, but I know the armour in Sassau. Cheap armour might... Done. As soon as I get the... That's enough for now. Good day to you. Are you here? Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. Fine. What did you... I work for my... Doing what? He's... He was Moiny. Really? Uh... So you're prob... Hi. That's all. <laughs> How are you holding up? Well... And what would you give... Uh, I've got nothing. Come down. 
Mother told me I should go and help. What happened? I, I don't know. That's enough. God be with you. What do you want? I want to work. And it's true. Do you know how to cook? If you know how to make food for... Where would I learn to cook food for nobles? I want to carry water. But Alex has already picked people who want to carry water. He didn't ask me, though. So I came here myself. Look, I already have more people than... But I really need it. So does everyone else around here. None of them has a husband on his deathbed. He's dying. He's badly wounded. So poorly he's been in his bed for weeks. Unconscious most of the time. Sorry to hear it. I already owe the apothecary a small fortune. And he won't lift a finger for us now. What did he do in... I was at the silverworks, roasting the ore and washing it. Oh, Christ. Things got very ugly there. I suppose that's where your husband was wounded? It's a miracle you managed to drag him all the way to Ratai. What else could I do? All right. I'll think about... And you'll... Goodbye. My respects to you. I know everything I... Splendid. I'll be glad to get this... So, how do we do this? Do I just give you their names, or should I send for them? Just tell me their names and whether they should carry water or something. 